Hello. Happy New Year. I hope you've had a really enjoyable Christmas and that you're refreshed for the beginning of the year that we trust lies ahead of us. It may well be that you're brimming with excitement and enthused about all that the year ahead has in store, or it may well be that quite the opposite, that you, you feel uh, down and weary and deflated and that the cares of this world and its pressures have really got on top of you. Or maybe I suppose like most of us, you're kind of somewhere in between. There's things to be cheery and positive about, but there are also trials and difficulties to be faced up to. Well, whoever you are, whatever your circumstance, whatever your connection with our congregation previously, whether you've been here a lot in the past, whether you're regularly here now, whether you used to be here years ago and you haven't been for quite a while, or whether you've never been in this place in your life before, nor even in anywhere remotely like it before, should church be something completely new to you and something that you've little previous experience of, we want to give you a big warm welcome. You'd be very welcome indeed at our various activities and organisations that take place through the week. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all now, but there are a lot of things on here at our complex, in our halls or in our meeting house. There are things for people of various ages and stages. There are things that are primarily social in nature. There are other things that still have a social element, but are particularly uh, for the the um, the spiritual things that are about prayer and Bible study and so on. Uh, there's a lot going on, and you're very, very welcome indeed. At our Sunday morning services, the main gathering of our church family at 11.30, we're going to be exploring the book of Habakkuk together, uh, a little known small book coming quite close towards the end of the Old Testament, uh, just three chapters, a couple of pages long. If you've never heard of Habakkuk before, or you wouldn't have a notion where to locate Habakkuk in the Bible, uh, well, probably everybody else will be in much the same boat too. But Habakkuk speaks in a really remarkable way and has a surprising relevance to our present day and age. It's a beautiful, wonderful, challenging, very exciting book. And I'm really looking forward to us exploring it together. Uh, so much do I love the book of Habakkuk that I really wanted to call uh, our son Habakkuk, or at least when Sarah was pregnant with our first child, if it was a boy, I was hoping that maybe we would get the call of Habakkuk. As you can guess, I've been overruled in that, but my enthusiasm for the book of Habakkuk remains. Wonderful message about a God who is way, 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 way greater than we think he is. Maybe that sounds surprising. Maybe you wonder, could it be so? Come and see. You're ever so welcome.